Gates, and I'm down at Folk Studios and Gallery with the founder, Patty Curtis, and I had questions for Patty about some artwork. So, Patty, I look at this and I fall madly in love with it, and I have no idea why, because I have no idea what's going on in these paintings, but I love them. Let me tell you what I think might be some of the reasons why you love this. I, I love it too. This is Leonardo Lanzola. He is um, one of our folk artists that's been with us since we opened, and these abstract creatures that he has here, uh, one way, one thing that I do know, I've, I visited Leonardo in his studio, and what he does is he creates layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of paint. And then he goes in and he scratches it off. And he says that these creatures emerge. These are his visionary creatures, that they emerge from these layers. And then he knows when to stop, and then he starts to embellish them with a little graphite, with a little extra pencil, with a little words. And so he has this technique that's much like Michelangelo as a sculptor, Michelangelo always said that the piece of marble already had the sculpture on it, he just had to unearth it. So Leonardo, also being quite Italian, like Michelangelo, um, is kind of that same philosophy, which I think makes it really interesting. So it's not only that, so it's not, these, not only the interesting tension of these visual creatures, but then it's this color and composition. So they're playful, they're approachable, but if it weren't in these delightful colors, in, in this whimsical composition, they might seem a little scary or a little, little weird but they're totally approachable and beautiful, and you've got pinks and blues, and the color's fantastic. In this series right here, they have resin over the top, so they're shiny. Um, when they don't have resin, you can actually see the layers even more of how they're scratched out. So if we look at this one, Carrie, you can see that this pink color right here is the top layer, and all of these layers of color were in between. So he scratches it, he carves it, he sands it, and he does all these different layers, and he does a little bit of embellishment, and these visionary creatures appear. These paintings make you happy. They create a tension in a room so they don't have to match your sofa. They create that dynamic tension in a room, in your living room or in your office, that creates interest. And that's probably why you like them. Oh, I love that. Thank yeah. you so much, Patty. Yeah.